Hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson here on the channel. So we're gonna be talking about how you could find one product that can make you five figures per month on Amazon. Now we're not talking about $50,000 per month, $90,000 per month. Some of those products can be so competitive, you just don't stand a chance. But can we find a product that makes 10 or $15,000 per month? You can make a 30% margin, right? $100 a day, $150 a day profit. Um, that we can do, that's something I've done personally. Um, I know how to do it, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in watching, be sure to stick around to the end. If you happen to be new, be sure to like and subscribe. But without further ado, let's get right into it. So let's move over into my computer here and just wanted to kind of highlight why I'm doing this video because I put out this video and you guys absolutely are crazy, loved this. Uh, I got 12,000 views, which at least right now on my channel, maybe at some point that won't be a lot, but right now for me, that's a lot. Um, so you guys clearly liked it. So I wanted to deliver to you again, right? It's important what works, what do you want, what do you like? I'm gonna show you how to do more of that. Let's get into it. So what I'm gonna do here today, I was actually just doing some product research as I do in the mornings, I love doing product research in the mornings. I feel like I'm at my creative best and I have the most focus to just sit down and actually look at data and analyze it for what it is. And I stopped myself because I actually wanted to make a video about it because I did something a little bit differently here today. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're actually gonna be setting a much higher minimum monthly price. Now this is something you can do even if you have a lower budget, maybe $2,000 or so, um, which is, low in the space of Amazon. A thousand is like minimum, 2000 is still pretty low. Uh, if you wanna do it the right way, maybe 2,500 to four grand, somewhere in there will cover your business expenses, your shipping, your product, your PPC. Um, so we're just being realistic here, but even if you, you know, what we're doing here is we're looking about $40 products to well over $100 products that sell on Amazon. And the point is because I sold my first $50 product this year and before then it had all been products under $50. And what I notice is, wow, it's a lot easier to get five sales of something that you profit 20 plus dollars on than it is to get 20 sales of something that you profit $5 on. Same, same outcome, right? So you're converting less people. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today, how you can do this as well. And again, you don't need a huge budget to do this. You just, you would order less of them. You might have some uh, restock issues. This. Really, we'll just get some gears turning, get you thinking a little bit differently because everyone's always going for that 15 to 50 range. What if we look 40 to 400 range, right? If you could only sell a couple a day, but if you're profiting $50 or $20 or $40, um, hey, that's more than enough. I'd be thrilled with that. So yeah, I was, I was just thinking, I was like, what can I change in here that would still give me really solid results? And I, I ended up with a filter set like this. So we're in Opportunity by Jungle Scout. Um, if you're wondering, I do use Jungle Scout mostly for product research purposes. Um, Opportunity Finder is probably the thing that draws me here the most. I really like this tool. Um, so the average monthly price that I've set up is $41 to 100 plus. We could even pull that down to like 38 so that we see all those 39.99 products. Um, but we'll just keep it at 41 for now. That's where I had it um, and I just got started here. And then average monthly units sold. You can see I, I just pulled this down quite a bit, right? I went 150 because if we have a product that's, um, you know, $50, then that's seven grand a month in revenue with 150 sales or 100, it's 15,000, right? So then we, we brought over 1,000 down to 700. Um, just a realistic uh, range of monthly units sold. Price you can see here, the monthly search volume. Again, notice I've brought this all the way down, right? I don't wanna see things that have 60,000, 70,000 searches per month because it's not the kind of markets I'm looking for. If you know anything about me and my channel, I'm looking for these markets where there's a, a customer has a want and no one's delivering on it. If there's 50,000 customers with a want, odds are someone's delivering for that. And there's probably multiple really high quality sellers. We wanna find markets where there's low quality sellers, low quality listings, so we can come in and be that most persuasive offer. And the competition, of course, I've just set to low. It's okay to sometimes even pull that up to medium, but I always generally start with low. And then niche score, if you don't touch it at all, it'll automatically, um, based on this criteria, give you a minimum of like a five or a six. We don't have to touch that. Um, then I just hit search and this is the list I got. Let me show you where I started. Something caught my attention right away. Um, and then that's when I stopped. So I saw, there we go. Okay, in, inflatable hot tub four person. So it has 2000 searches per month, average of 400 sold, very low competition. And let's check this out. So the first thing I see, is I see there's one that has a thousand reviews, but then we have 62, 32, two of 2000 by Coleman. 
um, 500, 200. But what I was noticing is kind of like the listing quality, right? I mean, some of these aren't fantastic. Um, and as I go on through here, there's one thing that I was noticing is that there's some big players in this field, but there's also a lot of room for other new sellers. Um, so if we look at this, like, um, this index one with just two reviews just launched, um, it actually isn't showing stars, but I mean, that thing's doing 40,000 per month. This Coleman one, 36 reviews is doing a hundred thousand dollars per month. This other, what is this? This is another index 62. If you don't know index, it's like they make like an, um, inflatable air mattresses and, um, camping gear and same with Coleman. Um, and then we have this one here. I've never actually heard of this. Um, oh, that's that's by Amazon. Okay. So yeah, the, the only thing that I see wrong with this market is that there's some big players. Um, but hey, I mean, if we can get a listing with two reviews to make as much as this is, um, we're in pretty good shape. So um, photography is pretty good. I mean, we could definitely use an infographic or two. Um, but it is Intex. They have a decent listing, horrible ratings. They're still doing okay. They have one five, one one, leveled out. Um, they just launched this in June here. Uh, immediately started getting sales. And guys, with a product that's seven hundred twenty dollars, um, let's see what they're estimating. This is um, we'll go profitability calculator. Helium Times is usually really accurate with what they think this is going to be. So they're estimating you make one hundred fifty dollars for each sale. Um, yeah, it's obviously extremely an oversized item, but $150 per sale, if you could sell one of these a day, right? It, you see how the standards are changing? Just 30 units a month. So that's where, you know, well, even if the product is $100 to source, it's, or even more than that, it's still only about $3,000 to start a product like that. Um, that's assuming that shipping was accounted for. But yeah, I'm sure there's there's variations of this product and there's products that can be fixed. I'm not in love with the market. I would have liked to see less big name brands because I think if I saw, um, this is one that gave me a little bit of faith here though. Check this one out. Um, so you can see they've only sold 23, but look at their revenue because of the price that's so high. Um, they've done a little bit of branding here, right? They've, they've gone cozy spa. That's clearly not like a big name brand. Um, this is definitely just a private label. Um, see, here's some infographics, right? This is, they've actually, they've outlisted Coleman and the other ones. They have the cover, right? It's black. Um, it actually looks like higher quality. Um, they have all these different variations. So they have different, um, different high quality, um, like six person ones, six person comfort pack. And I would imagine what they're probably doing is drop shipping because they're charging shipping. So that's why they have so many variations. It's not like they bought all these and sent them all into a warehouse, but let's move on. Cause I think, I think we could probably do better than this. Um, it was just something I wanted to show you and get your, get you thinking a little bit differently about, Oh yeah. Like what if I were to sell 200, 300, $400 products? Um, that's definitely something I'm considering right now, especially with my home decor brand. There's tons of shelves and dressers and like just things that Amazon sellers aren't focused on. Um, so many like smaller sellers aren't focused on it's just it could be a really good way to differentiate your strategy for amazon so let's scroll down here um let's see summer wave pool i don't know what a clam tent is so let's see what that is it's probably just a tent okay it's like a screen tent it's probably it's going to be the same situation i'd imagine with the um name brands we'll look through here um surely we should be able to find something else Drink pusher for fridge. What's that? Okay, I see. Um, I used to work in a little fried chicken place. It was like my first job. I got paid in cash. I worked like 30 hours a week at like uh, 15, 16. And uh, one of my jobs was to stock the fridge. So I definitely know what that is. Um, let's scroll down here. Crawfish boiler. Um, so obviously, as you can see, we're seeing very, very different um, product ideas here, right? We're not seeing the typical product ideas. So this might be a good way for you to start seeing different results out of some of these tools that you might be using. Okay. Um, so let's see here. You have Intex again. It's a lot of camping stuff. Um, flat grills, outdoor cooking, pizza oven for grill. Hey, I love me some pizza. 
Let's check that out. Okay. Okay, so instantly just on my scroll test here, you notice what I'm seeing here. So we have 56, uh, that's not even the right product. I have 36 reviews, 32 reviews. We have one here that is, I don't think it's for the grill. It might be its own individual thing. That's 300. That's again, the one with 36, 32, five. Okay, I think 87, 52, three. So we have this really, and those are all just private label brands. So let's see how those are doing. Oh, yes, nice. Okay, so check this out. This is really cool. Um, 18,000, uh, that's not the right product, so we'll get rid of that one. So 9,000 with 36 reviews. They have, a again, um, a $200 product. So let's go see what we think they're profiting. And for, for the profit calculations we're doing right now, they're not exact, so keep that in mind. We're just doing a profitability calculator check-in. Uh, this is usually really accurate, I found. Um, like even with my own products, I'm like, wow, that's like within t a couple cents. So here it might be within a couple dollars. Um, so $100 per unit there. They have a really good margin for this product, if that's true. About $100 per unit. And let's say even that was more expensive, right? It was 60, um, still doing $90 per unit is fantastic. Um, so for them to be selling, how many were they selling per month now? Let's check in on that. They were selling um, 44 per month, okay? So that is about $2,000 in profit um, at the higher price once we raised it, more than that if we didn't, it's fantastic. Um, with with the, like this level of competition, again, remember that. We're, the reason that we're finding these to be good things to sell is because there's, there's just so many people that haven't stumbled across this, right? Amazon's not any sellers, there's not any big sellers. Um, the one with 300 reviews is hardly doing better than that one. I always like to see that. We have, let's see, the one with 32 reviews here. This one's $80 and it makes 6K per month. This one is $200 like the other one and it makes almost seven grand per month. Okay. Okay, 87 with 18,000 per month and it's only $169, so it's a little less. So let's check that out, what's this? Okay, again, so they have different options, but generally here's the thing with when you see variations, whatever it's showing up front is the one that sells the most. So Amazon will optimize whatever is gonna show for the search term to be whichever one sells the most out of those variations for this specific customer. Um, so we could check those guys out. Um, decent photography, um, still not great. All right, we could do, surely we could do better. It's, it's clearly Photoshopped, right? Like that's not, actually on there that's not real um so yeah you really just put it right in okay yeah you just put it on the grill you put on the stone you put on the cover that's it yeah that's simple that's really simple okay cool um so i don't think the product is bad at all and what do you notice guys everyone who lists it what everyone who lists it makes sales that's a really important part of any product you want to sell. It's like, if you get this product on page one, it's going to sell. Um, so, I mean, we've just literally found a $26,000 per month product, not a name brand, bad photography, Photoshop photography, 87 reviews, doing 18,000 per month, or 20,000 per month. What was the 18? This one is doing 18,000 per month, 247. Okay, I don't know why I had that in my head. I thought that was this one. Okay, it's actually higher. And this one's doing 15, okay, let's check out this one. 15,000 with 52, 19,000 with three reviews. All right, so there's just crazy amounts of, and notice the sales aren't so high. There's crazy amounts of sale or um, revenue coming in because of the price. And that's something different to think about, right? If you could only send in 100 of these units, but every time you sell one, you make 100 bucks or you make $90, that's pretty awesome. See, as we go down, it just gets better and better, right? Um, a lot of these, notice, aren't even going to be the right things. So we have a lot of these things that are just pizza stones, a lot of these things that are um, like full grills in themselves, in and of themselves, like full ovens. We're really just looking for what is the customer, remember, what is the customer looking for and what's that want that's not being delivered? Well, they're looking for a pizza oven for grill, right? My main picture would be maybe a grill open on the white background with this thing sitting on top of it with flames coming out of the sides and you know maybe you don't do that for your main one maybe your second one or your lifestyle right 
emphasize that, hey, we are the brand that delivers the pizza oven for grills. Now, of course, with anything like this, you, you wanna go do your due diligence now. Go check the seasonality. Of course, grilling is more popular in the summer, right? Go check the, you know, I'm sure there's not a patent for this, but go check, right? This is just, again, to get you thinking. Once I deliver the strategy, you now know how you have the recipe. You can go duplicate this and find more things. But that's gonna do it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And other than that, guys, I'll see you here on the channel tomorrow for another video. Thanks so much. Later.